Hey tea friends, Megan Bristow here. This is Tasting Teas and in this video, a tale of two sunchas. Not really a tale, but I'm definitely going to be tasting them and contrasting and comparing. I have a sencha from Kagoshima Prefecture and a sencha from Shizuoka Prefecture. So get the kettle on, make yourself comfy and come and join me. Welcome, welcome to Tasting Teas, welcome to my living room. As I mentioned in the introduction, I have two Japanese centers that I'm going to be tasting today. And I thought it'd be fun just to do a little contrast and compare. A friend of mine uh, went home to Kagoshima to go visit her family and she brought me back some tea samples. I have tea samples from Shizuoka, Kagoshima, Uji in Kyoto, and from Fukuoka, that's the last place. So I'll probably do another video where I contrast, contrast and compare the sencha from Uji and the sencha from Fukuoka. I'm, I do like sencha. I tend to drink it more in the spring and in summer. Um, although I would definitely say, and this is probably gonna shock some, I prefer hojicha. I'm Gen Maicha. I like roasted, nutty flavors, but there's definitely a part of me that wants the fresh, grassy, vegetal, uh, lovely notes that you get with Essentia when the weather's warmer. It is a rainy spring day here in Scotland, so I'm really hoping that these teas will brighten my day. And the last time I had Essentia from Kagoshima, it was absolutely beautiful. And I felt like I could taste the Kagoshima sunshine and the sea air and everything, like everything in the environment. It was such a magical experience. <laughs> that sounds so funny, but it really was. Um, so I'm hoping that this can happen today again. For each tea, I have three grams of loose leaf prepared. And I am going to be brewing in a clay kyusu or Japanese teapot, my really cute teapot. And I'm gonna be brewing in a clay teapot that is not a kyusu. But both teapots are made of clay, not the exact same clay, I, I bought these completely separately, but hopefully using the same material, um, I'll be able to get a uniform um, brew out of each. Does that make sense? Each um, cup is just these little white porcelain teacups. And I'm going to be using around 80 degrees Celsius. Um, if I knew for certain that the two teas were Fukamushi Sencha, and Fukamushi just means deep steamed, it means that they're steamed for longer, um, I would be brewing at around 75 degrees Celsius and maybe for about 40 seconds, but on the information here, it doesn't state um, if it is Fukumushi or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brew for one minute for each tea at around 80 degrees. Um, that is my standard usually when I brew sencha. Um, I'm not sure, again, if this is Fukumushi, and I'm not sure of the varietal either. So I'm just gonna go for a minute and um, 80 degrees. What is the difference between Fukumushi sencha and asamushi sencha. Fukumushi, as I mentioned, is a deep steam and asamushi means a light steam. And if you're watching this video going, you do what to your tea? <laughs> and in order to stop the oxidation process, so when we pick the tea leaves, um, oxidation starts occurring right then and there as soon as you pick the tea leaves. In order to keep the tea green, uh, to process a green tea, you have to stop the oxidation process very early on. And the way to do that is to heat the tea leaves. In Japan, they most commonly steam their tea leaves. I have heard a few, a few exceptions, but they steam their tea leaves to stop the oxidation process to keep the tea green. And because the Japanese steam their tea leaves, this is why Japanese green teas tend to be uh, more savory and vegetal and have that umami 
um, sort of sea air, marine air flavor that I personally really love. It reminds me of nori seaweed, um, which I love to eat. As for the tea itself, the Kagoshima tea that I have is a chirancha, and chirancha refers to the fact that this sencha comes from the Chiran region in Kagoshima Prefecture. And Chiran is, what, from what I hear, it's uh, typically the most prestigious tea growing region in Kagoshima Prefecture. The Shizuoka uh, sencha that I have is a Kakegawa sencha. Just wanted to make sure that was right. And Kakegawa uh, again refers to a tea growing region within Shizuoka Prefecture. Shizuoka and Kagoshima are both two main tea growing regions in Japan. They produce a lot of tea, very good tea. Looking at the dry leaves, the Kagoshima Chirancha is a deep dark green. The Shizuoka uh, Kakegawa cha is a lot lighter, uh, a lot more of a light green. And when I smell the two, the aroma of the dry leaves for the Kagoshima Chirancha is um, lighter and definitely I get a sweet note from it. Whereas the Shizuoka Kakegawa Sencha is um, stronger. I can smell that this is going to be a very savory tea. It's got far more, um, I hope I'm not blowing tea all over the place. It's got far more grassy notes and um, almost like notes of hay as well. So they look very different and they smell very different. While I've been talking, I've been letting my kettle cool. And my water temperature is now just over 80 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and cool it down a little bit further by heating up my teaware. So I have my porcelain cup and my porcelain cup. I'm seeing double. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pour that water into my teapot, which I will probably make a mess of, so I have a little tea towel. And I'll pour it into this teapot. Perfect. By the way, how cute is my Maneki Neko tea towel? I love Maneki Neko. I, I collect I collect them. I don't yet have a massive big one, but uh, it's on my list. <laughs> that should be the tea wear nice and warm. And I'm gonna go ahead and my new tea scoop from Meili. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tea into my teapot. So this is the Kagoshima Chirancha going into my kyusu. And then I have my Shizuoka Kakegawa Sencha that is going to go into my little ordinary clay teapot. Okay. And now pouring the warm water from the cups into my teapots that have the tea in them. And I've got a timer on my phone. So the Kagoshima needs to come out around five to 10 seconds earlier than my Shizuoka. Okay. Hmm. Kagoshima does have, the wet leaves does have a savoriness and that grassiness that's very typical of Sencha. But again, there is still something that's quite um, sweet. And the wet tea leaves from the Shizuoka Sencha 
far more grassy and still with that hint of uh, that note of hay. Maybe a little sweetness in the wet leaves. Okay, let's, I'm gonna go with the Kagoshima first because I feel like this is gonna be a bit lighter in flavor. And looking at the tea liquors, <laughs> the Kagoshima is a very light um, yellow green and the Shizuoka, which, which the dry tea leaves were lighter in color, it has produced a very dark green, um, dark yellow green liquor. It's considerably darker. Okay. Kagoshima Chirancha. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's as light as I was expecting it to be. It has the savory savoriness and the vegetal flavor, but it is um there's a really nice sweetness to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can taste the Kagoshima sun in that. And uh, from what I understand, Chiran uh, <clears throat> region is also kind of on the slopes of, um, or maybe like the foothills of some mountains. So they do get some like fog and, not fog, but like um, mist. And it's just a beautiful uh, terroir in Japan uh, for tea. And I feel like I can really taste that. So let's move on to Shizuoka. Mm. Yeah, the flavor is much bolder. And the umami is a bit stronger. I definitely taste uh, seaweed. There is a slight sweetness to the Shizuoka one, but it's not as sweet as um, the Kagoshima Chirancha. This one really reminds me of um, green vegetables, asparagus and green beans and things like that. Whereas, you know, that kind of that taste kind of lingers in my mouth. Um, whereas, I feel like the Kagoshima is. Hold on. Ah. It's much lighter. Even the 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 mouth feel. I always feel so ridiculous saying that. The mouth feel is so much lighter. It's very clean. Um, I feel like this one has. Hmm, hold on. The Shizuoka has teeny bit of astringency. Kagoshima does not. I think they're both um, lovely senchas, but I do prefer the Kagoshima. I do like my um, senchas on the lighter side. Uh, it's more the asamushi, the lightly steamed. Um, and this might, I feel like this might be an asamushi steamed sencha, even though I feel like I heard somewhere, I read somewhere that Chirancha uh, does quite commonly use the Fukumushi style of steaming, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And there's definitely, so there's more, um, even though I used a strainer for each, there's hardly any um, little particles, tea particles from the Kagoshima, whereas the Shizuoka is, um, there's a far more particles sitting on the bottom of my cup. And I think that might contribute to the liquor not being as transparent either and being a deeper, uh, darker color. Okay, for the second infusion, I did um, get freshly boiled water and I went up to, again, just over 80, um, closer to 85, so a little bit hotter. Um, but I only did a 40 second, uh, 45 second brew for each tea. And, the 
Kagoshima is looking darker on the second brew. And the Shizuoka looks the same. Mm. Look at what? Mm. I just picked up a new like, flavor in the Kagoshima brew, but it kind of reminds me of avocado. <laughs> Something kind of, yeah, like a creamy, buttery avocado. Let's see what the Shizuoka is like. The Shizuoka reminds me far more of seaweed. And that, like, yeah, that umaminess um, that I associate so much with the Japanese green teas. The chiran cha is just light and sweet and only just starting to get slightly vegetal. I feel like the Shizuoka um, Kakegawa cha would be really good with a meal. And this is the one I would want after a meal. Okay, so I have freshly boiled water for my third infusion. It's at 85 degrees, so slightly higher than the 80 that I had on the first infusion. And I'm gonna infuse for another 45 seconds as I did with the second infusion. So starting with Kagoshima. Chiran cha. Do, 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 do. And start. And going on to Shizuoka. About five seconds behind on Shizuoka. <laughs> okay, that is 45 seconds. Decanting Kagoshima first. I keep referring it to my region, the Chirancha. Cute little Kisu, how I love you. And then decanting Shizuoka, Kakegawa Sencha. Interesting. They're almost equal in color now. Okay, cheers. Chiran cha is still light and sweet. Kakegawa cha, uh, Shizuoka. Kanpai. Hmm, I feel like this got sweeter on the third infusion. Final thoughts. After three infusions, I definitely prefer the Chirancha from Kagoshima in the south. However, I prefer the third infusion of the Shizuoka Kakegawa Cha. I like it with a warmer temperature and I feel like it got sweeter. Um, perhaps that is due to it being uh, with a warmer temperature and just being on the third infusion. Um, it's remarkable to do uh, a side-by-side -side tasting like this of two of the same type of teas um, that are from different regions, different environments, to show you just how important environment is in um, tea growing. I would love to know what the varietals of these uh, plants are. Um, I think in Chirancha they commonly use at Yabukita, but I know that they use um, other varietals as well. And in Shizuoka, it's the same, you know, and Yabukita is very common, but they use other varietals as well. And my palate's not so trained as to recognize like, oh, it's definitely that cultivar. Um, and it doesn't say on the packets here on the information. So um, that's unfortunate, but um, they could or could not be the same varietal. But the, the key thing to take away here is that you know, one of them is further north on the mainland of uh, main island of Japan, and one is um, from a completely different environment in the south. And I feel like you can really taste the difference in the environment. Um, and of course, the processing method uh, 
contributes to aroma and flavor as well. But um, every time I have a Kagoshima Sencha, it really transports me to Kagoshima. And I feel like I can taste the sun. I feel like I can feel the sun on my face. Um, I feel like I, I've got the air of Kagoshima and the soil, that, that volcanic, nutrient-rich soil. Um, it really lights up my senses and it lights up my imagination. And I feel like that might be due to the, the chi of the tea, as um, some, some of us tea lovers uh, will be familiar with that term, the chi, the sort of spirit and the energy and the vitality of the tea. And if that's not, you know, your thing, your, your cup of tea, um, or you don't know what it is, then you'll look into it. But I do feel like every tea does have a chi. Uh, it does. I also kind of refer to it as a character. So the Kagoshima has transported me to another world. Uh, well, it's transported me to Kagoshima and has made me forget that it's a rainy spring day here in, here in Scotland. The Kakegawa cha from Shizuoka you know, it didn't quite transport me to Shizuoka. I, I felt like I was tasting um, that very familiar, like, oh yes, this is grassy and this is vegetal, this is sencha. Um, you know, there wasn't anything bad about it. It just it it just came across as a sencha to me. Um, it didn't particularly ignite my imagination or my feelings. Um, having said that. I really did enjoy the third infusion. Um, I like the sweetness that came out in the third infusion, and I do feel like this is one that I would want to have while having a meal. Um, whereas I feel like the Kagoshima Chirancha I can drink on its own. Um, I wouldn't want to have food with it. I think it's just got such a lovely uh, aroma and flavor. If you made it to this point in the video, I thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Your support really, really encourages me and helps me. I will link down to my blog post in the description box where you can get all the details and particulars of how I brewed these two senjas. And there's also some wonderful tea photography if you're into that sort of thing. Look forward to another sencha video. We'll do another side-by-side -side tasting to see how different those are. And wherever you are, I hope that you're enjoying a wonderful cup of tea. And until next time, cheers! What is the difference between Fukamushi Sencha and Asamushi Asam? Ha! Ah!